Hello everyone, it's Zach here, back again with another video, and um, two in a row, so that's great. Um, I'm using Zoom this time to record um, instead of ScreenFlow because ScreenFlow has some issues. So hopefully this will work a little bit better. Um, please let me know in the comments how the video looks, how it sounds, if you think it sounds good. Um, it shouldn't sound too, too different from yesterday, except that I'm using a different computer, so the mic should be a little bit better. Alrighty, so in this video, I'm going to get started with my series on Reaper. Now, again, I've said this before, but I'm not planning on ditching Logic anytime soon. Um, I will still continue to use Logic, of course, but Reaper is something I'm looking into increasingly because Logic, um, well, Logic has its issues, and until such time that they... Uh, work things out, currently Reaper is the second best option right now. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm not going to do too much in this video because I don't want to overwhelm anyone. What I'm thinking we'll do is we'll take a look around the interface and what I'll do is I will make a quick beat using the Media Explorer, which is kind of like the Logic Loop browser. It's a very similar thing, except it's a little more powerful and we'll get to why. Um, and this installation of Reaper is pretty close to default. I think I may have changed a few settings around. So you will also sort of go along with me in customizing things. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Reaper. Finder. Finder. Down. Saturday's folder. Oops, application. I'm in my wrong folder. There we go. Reaper application. All right. Let's open up Reaper here. Open. Reaper, Reaper V6.42, registered to Zachary Benui, licensed for personal slash small business use, window, new... And you see this registered to me. Now, before we go any further, let's actually talk about installing Reaper. So, to install Reaper, it's a two-step process. For, and I'll have links to all of this in the video description. First step, you go to Reaper, so that's R-E-A-P-E-R dot F-M and you click on the download link. It's at the very top of the page. After that, you go down this uh, list and it's sorted by heading and you have Reaper for all of the different platforms that it supports. Currently, Reaper is accessible on Mac and Windows. There is a Linux version. However, the Linux version is not accessible yet. So if you're using Linux, you're kind of out of luck or you could try it and I don't know, let us know how it goes. But Currently, it's accessible on Mac and Windows. So I'm using Mac here. And for Mac, you have to be especially careful because there are three different versions of Reaper, actually. There is one that is designed for Macs that are older. So Macs that are running Leopard, Snow Leopard, and it, yes, it does go back that far. Um, Lion, uh, all the way up to Mojave. Then there is another one that is designed for Catalina and later. So that would be Big Sur. If you're using Montreal, you would use this one. Then there is one for the M1 Max that have been out for quite a while now. Um, so you download the version that you want, and they have some tips on there, but you have to be careful to download the right one. So go through and look at those files carefully. After you do that, it's a very simple process to install it. Um, it's just like installing any other Mac application that you might get from the internet. So you go to your folder where you saved it, you open the disk image which with command O, you press agree to the license agreement, then you go down to the Reaper application, hit command C to copy it, go to the applications folder and hit command V, and that will paste it into your applications folder. Then you're all set. After that, all you do is press you know, open on that. It will ask, are you sure? You say yes. It will give you a dialog asking you to select your audio outputs. So you just press yes, and then that's a standard settings dialog. You go in, select your speaker. You do not need to select your built-in microphone because uh, normally what will happen is if you're selecting, say, an audio interface, it will select both of those automatically. If you are using the newer Macs and you want to use the built-in microphone to record, there are a few ways to do this, but the way they recommend is going into audio MIDI setup and creating an aggregate device. Um, I can do a separate video on that um, because that is a process in and of itself but it's not too complicated. All in aggregate devices is just 
you're combining two audio devices into one. So because the, the Mac has a mic and a speaker, you just combine the mic and speaker into one device. Then when you select that in Reaper, it knows, oh, this is an input and an output device. So it actually is cleaner than, say, Logic, where they make you select your input and output device separately. There is a checkbox in that dialog to select your input and output device separately, but we don't need to worry about that because there are other workarounds and it's not recommended to check that box anyway. So I would recommend to do the other workaround. All right, after all of that, you press OK, and this is like Windows, so you have to press OK. You can't just close the window, otherwise it won't save anything. So you press OK, and then after that is done, you will, uh, you might be presented with a window that says, hey, this is an evaluation version of Reaper. You have 60 days to evaluate it, then you have to buy it. So you just click still evaluating, uh, or you can just press return. If you don't see that window, uh, you can use the voiceover window chooser menu to go and find it, or you can press command and the grave accent key, which is right to the left of the number one on the top of your keyboard, and you'll go to it and just press return. And then they'll close that window and you're all set. When you actually activate Reaper, you won't see that window anymore. And what you'll see instead is the dialogue that, or the uh, message that's showing up here where it's saying registered to Zachary Benwe. Um, that's what you'll see. Okay, that was a lot, but it's really not that complicated once you get to grips with it. If people really need an installation video, I'd be more than happy to make one. Please let me know if that's something you would like. Um, but the installation process is pretty simple, and if you're familiar with Mac OS, which I'm assuming you are, if you're watching this video, then you should be familiar enough to be able to install this. But again, if anybody needs help, please let me know. I am more than happy to assist in any way I can. So that's the first part done. Now we need to get the accessibility layer of this. So let me actually do a demo of this because it's quite easy and um, I think it will be helpful. So I'm gonna close Reaper. Finder. We'll come back to it in a second. I'm gonna open Safari. Safari application open. Safari. And I'm gonna go to my search bar. Google search. And I'm going to type Osara. O S A R. A. R A and press return. Osara. Selected. Alright. Osara. Doesn't say it correctly, but it's okay. I'm going to now use my headings to go to the first link I see in Google. O S A R A. Open source accessible. Press control option space on that. Heading level one. O S A. Okay. Now you go to the right. List three item. Bullet off. Bullet copyright. Keep bullet going. license. And O S A R A is a link. Reaper. Extension which aims to make Reaper accessible to screen reader users. It was heavily inspired by and based on the concepts of the Reaccess extension, but was created as a potential replacement because Reaccess seems to have been abandoned and was not developed openly. It runs on both Windows and Mac, though it is currently very experimental on Mac and is not yet fully functional. So they say, very experimental on Mac. That's not really true anymore. It's been very experimental on Mac for quite a while. I, th I would say it's pretty functional now. There maybe are a few things that Windows users can do that we can't, but it's not really any thing to worry about. Features. List 12 items. So here are all the features. Bullet reports information about tracks when you navigate to them. One of 12. Yep. Bullet reports information concerning track folders. Two. Bullet reports adjustments to track mute, solo, arm, input monitor, phase, and volume. Bullet reports information about items when you navigate to them. Bullet reports the edit cursor position when you move by pixel, measure, beat, or to the start or end of the project. Bullet provides access to various context menus for tracks, items, and the time ruler. Bullet reports track envelope selection. Bullet reports markers when you navigate to them. Bullet facility to adjust the automatable FX parameters. Bullet ability to watch and report track peak meters. Bullet non-contiguous selection of track slash items. Bullet navigation and selection of chords and notes in the MIDI editor. And heading level 2 there requirements. You go. OSARA requires Reaper 6.41 or And there is more than that, don't worry. OSARA requires Reaper 6.41 or later. The link SWS slash SNM extension is highly recommended and OSARA supports several useful actions from this extension. So there's another extension here called SWS. I do not currently have that installed. Um, I would recommend that you install it. However, it's not required. Uh, OSARA will run just fine without it. But there are some extent or actions in that extension that will um, help with certain tasks. Um, I just do not have it installed because getting it installed on newer versions of Mac OS is kind of a pain. You have to go through the terminal and do all sorts of things to get it to work. Um, I will have a video on that at some point uh, because that is quite important and people should probably have that installed, including myself. Um, I just don't have it currently, but it won't affect us for what we're gonna do today.
It has only been tested with the NVDA and voiceover screen readers. However, on Windows, OSAR right, heading level 2 download here. and installation. Download and installation. You can download the latest OSARA installer from the link. OSARA development snapshots. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to press VO space. Heading level 1. OS this page contains the latest snapshots of OSARA in its current state of development for Windows and Mac. OSARA Alrighty. is an open source extension under ongoing development, so we encourage you to check back here every so often to ensure that you're running the latest release. Note the date after each old number. Yep, so I would recommend maybe bookmarking this page or just remembering to go to this page from time to time. Don't have to worry about it too, too much, but generally whenever Reaper gets an update, um, go to this page and see if there's a new version. Be aware that technically, OSARA has not yet had an official release. That said, the extension can safely be considered stable. At this point, OSARA is being used every day in production by people all over the world. If you find a bug, please, link, open a new issue on Git and describe the problem. Yo, let me go back a bit. Open a new issue on GitHub. So GitHub, for people that don't know, is a community um, of developers, and there's a ton of really cool free software on there. All, uh, all of it, it's open source, um, as far as I know, and it's great. There's lots and lots of different things, and Osara is one of those. And describe the problem, preferably with thorough steps to reproduce the issue, what happened and what you expected to happen instead. Support requests should be posted on the link. Reapers Without Peepers, RWP group. So there's a mailing list called Reapers Without Peepers. I would recommend subscribing to that. They are very helpful. Um, this video is by no means meant to be a manual for Reaper. I'm just giving people an introduction, a little taste as it were. And then later on, we'll go deeper as I learn more myself. Period. List four items. Okay, here we go. Bullet one of four. Link. Download OSARA 2021.1 pre-652 EF7F1CB9 for Windows. This is for Windows. Sunday, November 21st, 17, 16, 31, 2021. All right, we'll keep going to the right. Bullet two of four, link. Download OSARA 2021.1 pre-652 EF7F1CB9 for Mac. Sunday, November 21st, 17, 18, 21, 2021. Cool. So actually, it's been updated since I've downloaded it last, so I'm actually going to download this right now. Li bullet, link. So Down I'm going to press VO space on here. Download, cancel, toggle, allow, And toggle we're going button. to allow that download to happen. Link. Download. Cool. I'm now going to go over here to finder. my finder. Finder. Application. And let me just open Reaper, Reaper one more time. Open. And I'll show you what happens Reaper. here Reaper uh, when you have OSAR installed. If you press down and up arrow, you should hear... No tracks. No tracks. No tracks. And that's how you can confirm that OSAR is installed. So I already have it installed, but we're going to update it so I can actually show you how to install it. It's very easy. Let's quit Reaper now. Finder. Can I go to my downloads folder? Downloads. Asura underscore. Let's go in here and open. open it up. Application. Alrighty. Icon view collection. Copying dot. Install Osara dot command. Terminal. Okay. So we have this install Osara dot command. In install. Copy. I'm install. using the voiceover cursor to get to that because we need to right click on it. Menu. Go down. Open. And press open. Install alert system dialog. The reason I have to do it this way is because macOS is going to flag it as malware. I promise it's not. There is no virus. It's just that they didn't verify it with Apple because this is an open source project. So I'm going to go to the left here. Help button. Go to the right. macOS cannot verify by opening That's open fine. button. That's fine. And I'm going to click open. Finder. O terminal. Application. Dialog. Choose whether to install Ozara into a standard or a portable Reaper. Choose. So you can have a portable version of Reaper that you put on a thumb drive, which is really cool. But all we need to do in this dialog is press return. Yes. Default. Press and return. Press return again. Right bracket. And we're done. That's it. That's all it is. It's really easy. I'm going to quit out of terminal now. Finder. O I'm going to eject this disk image. Clo clo close window. O S A eject. And now we're going to open Reaper and get started. Applications. Appli Reaper application. Open. Reaper, Reaper V6 point. There we go. No tracks. Pressed down arrow to make sure. No tracks. Up arrow. Cool. Now, let's get started with Reaper. So, we're going to get some audio in here first, and then what I will do is I will show you some commands to move around and edit, and we'll do something similar to what we did with the logic video yesterday, except this time we're just going to use some loops that I've already got here. So, to start with, I want to open up the Media Explorer. And to do that, you press Command Option X. Alert System Dialog. Reaper Reaper would like to access files in your desktop folder. That's okay, fine. Button. Reaper Reaper V6 point. All right, just hit OK on these prompts whenever you get them. Now, the Media Explorer is essentially like the Apple Loops browser on steroids. What the Media Explorer allows you to do 
is look for any file on your computer that you might have and you're able to import it into your project really easily. You are able to match it to the tempo of your song uh, without, with hardly doing anything at all. And it doesn't really matter where the file comes from. It could be a loop. It could be something you've ripped off of vinyl, for example, anything. And it makes it very easy to put loops and tracks together. Um, and it's a lot faster than doing the same thing in Logic. So we're going to try this. I'm going to first, though, make sure that the Media Explorer is displaying in its own window. Because if I don't, it'll be kind of annoying to keep navigating to it whenever I want to add new files. To do that, I'm going to press Control, Option, and Right Arrow. Open project, save project, project settings. And we're going to keep going here. Until I get to... Record, stop, pause, tap, selection, current, text, glow, one, rate. Navigate, navigate, parent, director, refresh, file, slash, user, slash, combo box, table. Keep going. Play, button, pause, stop, repeat, button, hardware, auto play. Start on bar, temple, map, pitch, zero, rate, one point zero zero point no media file loaded. Docker, tablet, Docker, tap. Okay, so actually, let's go back. Table, cop, slash, use, refresh, parent directory, navigate, nav, rate, text, 1.0, navigate, parent directory. Okay, so, refresh file list, but let's see, I think on any of these buttons, you can right click with control, option, shift, M. Menu. Yep, that'll bring up a menu. Create new database from current folder. You go down. Add current folder. Create subfolder. Shell source. Unload current. Copy command. Paste. Create new data. Scan all data. Remove missing. Show. So options. Submenu. Yes. So you go to the options menu. Options. Sub search. Sub default action. We're going to go down. When start on When select. Check mark. Auto place. Stop. Pre going. Continue. Check mark. Auto advanced. Auto render. Check mark. Auto check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Apply preview. Check mark. Apply pre. Check mark. Enable looping. Normalize. Pre apply. Nor Customize. Me Customize menus. Uh, whoops. No, no. Not in here. Menu, show action, list, check mark, Let's doc, see. media, explorer, and docker. Oh, here we go. Doc, media, explorer, and docker. We want to uncheck this by pressing return. Media, explorer, window, table. There. Six of now it's in its own separate window. If I press command and tilde, remember that key we talked about before? I'm going to press that. New project. And we're back in the main Reaper window. So this media explorer is now always open, ready to go, which is awesome. It's always safe here in a separate window. It's never going to leave us. We've got it right there. If we need to add new files, we can do that really easily. We're just going to touch on the Media Explorer today. I'm not going to go into extreme details because, again, I don't want to overwhelm anyone. This video has already gone on very long because I was talking about installing Reaper, and um, I don't want to uh, overwhelm anybody. So we're going to do this. All right, so let's go back. Table, row six of seven, desktop. Okay. Now, this table has shortcuts to some of your most common folders, and you can add shortcuts here. I'm going to go to my home folder by pressing up arrow. No tracks. Uh, whoops, maybe not. Empty table. Documents. There we go. Desktop. Home. There's the home folder. Let's uh, press tab. Table. And go down. Desktop. Documents. Whoops. Desktop. Thursday, November 11th. Let's see. Doc downloads. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to go into my downloads folder by pressing return. Alert system. It wants to access the downloads folder, okay. so I'm going to press OK. okay. Reaper. And now I'm going to go down. Music, radar, jazz club samples. And we have our sample pack. I'm going to press return again. No row selected. Now watch what happens. When I press down arrow, it's going to start previewing. Or I'm sorry, no, not yet. We have to go into a folder first, so let's do that. 95 BPM I'll go loops. into 110 BPM loops. 110. No row select drums. Eight. And I'll go to drums. Now, no row select. when I press down arrow, it's going to start previewing our files. And Logic does this too, however, this is a lot more reliable. And when you press space, it starts and stops the preview. So let's try that. JC, JC underscore. underscore. JC underscore. JC underscore. JC underscore. Cool. So you can hear we got some nice drums. However, they're not matching to the tempo of our project. So what do we do about that? Really simple. Tab. Auto play. Do it again. Start on bar. Do it one more time. Tempo match off. Tempo match off. Now, I'm going to press control option space on this. Menu check mark. Tempo match off. And go down. Tempo match on. And we have tempo match on. If I go down again. Tempo match half. We can have it match at half speed. Tempo match double. Or double speed. Tempo, te tempo match on. I'm just going to turn it on. Tempo match. Go back to that table with shift tab. Start auto play. Table. Row and if I press 30. space again, check it out. It's going to match our project tempo. There you go. See? Really easy, huh? And what's really cool is um, 
if I change the tempo in the project, which I'm going to show you how to do right now, we're going to go back to our project. New project. And in Osara, it's really easy. All you have to do is press Option and the uh, minus and equals or plus keys directly to the right of the zero. 119 BPM. So I'm going down. 108 BPM. You can see it's really responsive as well. BPM. Let's go to 100 BPM. and I'm going to go back to the Media Explorer. Media. Go to my table. table, press space. Whoops. Table, row five of 30. There we go. And you'll see. Tempo's changed. So let's find something that works here. JC underscore. JC underscore. There you go. That works, I think. Let's go up one just to see. Jeez. JC under. JC under. Underscore. JC underscore. I liked that, um. JC. J. This one here. Now, you're probably wondering how do you put this in? Easy. Press return. Done. If I go back to my project. New project. And I press down. Remember how it said we had no tracks before? One one item. Look, we got a track now. It's not named, but that's really easy to fix. All you have to do is hold down function on the Mac and press F2. F2 key button. Track name. Just like in Windows. So I'm going to type uh, drums. D-U-S. Press return. Drums. Unsaved that's it. One drums, one item. We got our drum track. Let's go Open back um, up to the top of the project by pressing... Uh, command and home. Bar one beat one zero percent. Or on the uh, laptop, you would do command function and the left arrow key. And if I press space, play. There you go. Now play. There it is. Now you're probably thinking, how do we loop this out? What do we do with that? There are several ways, but the easiest way and the way that I like to do it is. I'm going to go to the item, and an item in Reaper is basically like a region in Logic. So if I press Command left and right arrow when I'm focused on a track, one drums, one item, which I am right now. If I, I press down arrow to confirm that, if I hold down Command and press the right arrow key, one JC underscore Bayada one one zero dash zero seven dot WAV. There's our item. Now it titled it the name of the audio file. I believe you can rename that. I don't normally do that in Logic, but I'm sure you can if, if it's easier. I'm going to keep this, though, and what I'm now going to do is press Command and D, and that will duplicate the item, D for duplicate. Now if I press um, Command Home and play it again, play. we've got a four-bar loop, see? Now, let's say we wanted to extend that out to eight bars, but we didn't want to have to duplicate all of those items again. Well, there are two ways to fix that. We can either glue the items together, and what gluing does is it's just like joining in logic, except it actually works a little better. Um, basically, all gluing will do is if you have two items, which in this case we do, because remember we duplicated them, it will just put them all to one item. And then we can duplicate that item and we get eight bars. However, a uh, faster way to do this, before we actually glue everything together, is go to the first item with command left arrow. One, JC under and when you go to the next item with command right arrow, hold down the shift key. Just like if you were to select text. Two selected, JC underscore Bayada one one. Now, both of those items are selected, and if I press command D, it will duplicate both of them out. There we go. Now, one. if I go back up to the top, let's see if we got an eight bar loop. Play. There we go. We've got ourselves an eight bar loop. And what's cool too is when you have an eight bar loop like this, Reaper does not keep going on and on and on and on until like bar 129, like what Logic does. It stops right at eight bars. It will only add more, um, uh, add more sound or more uh, space rather if you have more sound later on down the line. And we don't currently, so it's keeping it to eight bars. Awesome. We've got our drums. Really easy, right? Let's add a baseline. I'm going to go back to the Media Explorer. Media Explorer. Press Command Tab. Or, uh, sorry, uh, Tab, rather. Table. To go five of over here. Table. Row eight. 
Cool. We're in our drums. Let's go to our bass. So how do you go back and forth through folders? Press backspace. Drums eight. There we go. Now we're out of that drums folder and we're back into the main folder. I'm gonna press down arrow now. Drums B, drums C, guitar and bass. Let's find some guitar Friday, and November. bass. I'm gonna press return. No row select. And go down. JC, JC unders, underscore. Okay, that could work. Let's go down a little bit. Bass dash one one. JC underscore. That's cool. Okay, that works. Now, here's something to keep in mind. Currently, uh, the default behavior when we insert tracks in the Media Explorer is it will, or I believe anyway, it will just insert on whatever track was there last. If there's no track, it will make a new one. We don't want that though, because what we would like is to insert this file on a new track. So. If I press Control Option Shift M Menu. on this busy. file, I just did a right click. If I go down, Insert into Project. We have Insert into Project. Insert a time selection. Stretch slash loop to fit. Insert a time selection. We'll talk about time selections later. Insert on a new track. I want to insert on a new track, but if I go down a little more, let's just see what else we got. Insert into Sample Player Submenu. That's really cool. I have not experimented with that yet, but that's very similar to what we were doing with Logic and the Quick Sampler, except this way is much easier. Insert in Selected Media Items Submenu. Preview. Set as Favored. Check mark. Set Temporary Mark. You can mark them as favorites, which is pretty cool. So I can mark my favorite sounds, and then I can sort by those favorites. Show Media Source Properties. Copy. You can see how long the file is, things like that. Paste, dim, rename, delete. You can rename it. You can delete it from here. Show in Explorer slash Finder. You can show it in the Finder. Calculate peak volume for reread metadata from edit metadata tag. Write edit metadata to insert into project. So got all sorts of options. What I want though. Insert a time selection. Insert on a new track. Is insert on a new track. I'm going to press return. Table, row three. And there we go. It's in there. Now I'm going to confirm that in a second, but I want to add another loop. Also too, if you want to have that behavior be the default, because the Media Explorer is now in its own separate window, it's almost like it's another application. If I press Control Option M to go to the menu bar, menu bar Apple, and I go to the right, Reaper, Media Explorer, Show, we have a completely different menu system. If I go to Options, 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 and I go down, Options, Menu, Default Action, Double Click or Enter Key, Sub Menu. If I go in here, Default Action, Double Click or Enter Key, Sub Menu Check Mark, Insert Media or Open Project. The default. Uh, action here when I press return is to insert the media, but not like take a kind of new tracks or anything like that unless there aren't any tracks. Start preview. Do nothing. Check mark. Insert media on selected track. There we go. So that's for enter. Um, uh, going up. Do nothing. That is for d when you double click the mouse. Check mark. Insert media on selected track. I'm going to go down. Insert media on new track. And I'm going to set that as the default option. So with control option space. Insert. There we go. It's just, it's that easy. Now that's set up, I'm going to go to and find a guitar. JC, JC underscore, JC, JC underscore, guitar one one, JC, JC underscore, let's see, underscore, guitar one one, Reaper, JC, okay, I'm pressing space to stop that, that's not in the right key. That's in G, and this baseline is in D. So what do we do to fix that? Simple. Tab. Auto play. Tab again. Start on. Tab again. Temp home. One more time. 0.00, .00 content. We have a transmission, uh, sorry, a transposition field. <laughs> That's hard to say. Now, this is a text box, and all you have to do is type in what transposition, transposition value you want. So if I wanted to go down, I type minus, Five, for example. If I wanted to go up, I type just five. So I'm going to type, uh, let's see. So it's in G right now, so that's set at zero. So if I do a little counting in my head, um, that would be five because D is the fifth up from G. So I should be able to just type five in this box. Selection replaced, five. There we go. Shift tab back to our uh, player, to our table. table here. And if I press space, Okay, so it's actually that's in C, so I, I underestimated. Let's go back, and I'll type seven. Seven. Go up. Auto play. Table. There we go. Now you're probably thinking, oh no, this sounds all weird and chipmunky. Now it does, but Reaper has different algorithms to help with some of this stuff. 
We're not going to go into this today, but later on when we get into some more advanced videos, I will talk about um, these different time stretching algorithms that Reaper has and how we can utilize them. For now, we're just going to use this and I'm going to press return. Cool. Now, if I go back to our Reaper session, Finder, oops. Safari, Zoom. U Reaper. Unsaved there project. we go. And I press space, we should have everything in there. Play. Nice. Now you'll notice uh, not everything is looping properly. So we have to go back. Three, one item, two, one item. And uh, let me name this guitar. Or Escape sorry, let's button. see. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a good time to actually show soloing. So soloing and muting in Reaper is very easy. Instead of pressing S and M like you would do in Logic, you go to your function row and to mute it's F5. Whoops. F5 button muted. There you go. Unmuted. Into solo. F6 key button. Soloed. There you go. Unsoloed. Soloed. Let's solo this and listen to it. Play. Stop. Cool. That's our bass. F6 key. So button. I'm going to unsolo. Unsoloed. And I'm now going to uh, name this bass. So I'm pressing F2, key F2 button. again. Track name. Typing bass. A -A go Unsaved down one. Three one item. And F2. F1 key button. F2 key and button. type. Track name. G U I T F R. Guitar. Unsaved pro Alrighty. Two bass, one item. Three guitar, one, two. I'll duplicate these items just like we did before. One. J so I'm going to the first one and I'm going to press Command D. And again, to go to items, it's Command left and right arrow. Play. Stop. All right, um, let me. Play. Right, stop here. Stop. Cool. Press Command D again. Play. Stop. One more time. Play. There. Play. Okay. Go to our guitar. Three guitar. One. Same thing. Item. One. J um. Also, these left and right arrow commands do not wrap. So, if you press command right arrow and you're not hearing anything, that just means that you're already at the end of the project. So, press command left arrow and it will move you back to that item. Um. When you move through items, Reaper will position the play cursor and the edit cursor at that item Center. and low battery looks like my battery is low so Actions, clo close low battery just, uh, just missed that here so when you press command left and right arrow that will um position your cursor um at the beginning of wherever item you're at so you don't need to keep navigating to it like you do in logic which is very nice one one we're just going to duplicate this play there play cool so we're good now we've got our little loop going I'm going to do a little mixing, and then we'll save this project, and I'll call it a day. Two bass, four item. Now, oh, let me also show you gluing real quick. If you wanted to glue all of these together, all you need to do, three guitar, four. go to the track you want, and press option A, or I'm sorry, option command A, I believe. Four items selected. Yep, it's option command A. That will select all of the items in the currently selected track, and you press command U, Open project. and that will glue Dim. them together. Two bass, four. Same with guitar. Four items selected. Dimmed, unsaved. Same with drums. One drums. Four items selected. Dimmed, unsaved. Cool. One drums. To mix is really easy. But just volume is option up and down arrow. Track minus 0 0.05, minus 0 0.10, 0 0.00. And pan predictably left and right. 1% left, center, 1% right. There you go. That's it. So we're just going to mix a little bit. Set. Two bass, one up. Turn the space down slightly. Minus 1.80. Minus 1. These go a bit slow. You can customize all of this, and we'll get into that later. Minus 4.65. Play. Stop. And I'll pan the guitar. guitar Turn it down slightly. Minus 2. Point. Pan it a bit to the right. 10%. Cool. Now let's hear it. Play. There you go. And all of your copying and cutting and all of that works very similarly to how you might use it in Logic. And feel free to play around and experiment. You really can't break anything, I promise. And Reaper is very easy to reset. So if you make a mistake, it's no problem. You can just reset your application by deleting all the files and start over from scratch. 
But again, I will have more videos in the coming days where I do talk about copying and cutting and all that stuff. But for now, let's just save this project. Really easy, Command S. Untitled. Content. Call it what you like. I'm just gonna call this. Save that. Um. My song. <laughs> Selection. My. F. F. G. Press return. Song. It's just a standard save dialog. You can decide where you want to save it. All of that. Open project. I just press return. It saves it. That's it. It's really that simple. I'm not going into too much detail because there really isn't a ton of detail to go into. It's really that easy. Quit with Command Q. Finder. There you go. So. I hope you enjoyed that. I know that was a little uh, faster paced than some of my logic tutorials, but really it's not that difficult to grasp your head or wrap your head around rather. You just go in, play with it. Um, there's a ton of tutorials online. If you look up Reaper accessibility on Google, there is a great wiki that has a ton of articles, a link to a Dropbox folder with a ton of tutorials, a link to the WhatsApp group that I'm a part of um, I'm there, so feel free to join. Ask any questions you like. People are very helpful. The RWP list is there to help you. And yeah, it's a really, really powerful program. We have not even scratched the surface, I promise. We're going to get into more and more of this. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little demo. And maybe this will convince you to give it a shot. Try it out. It's fully functional. Uh, it's free to download. Purchase it if you like it. And it's really that simple. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a really good rest of your day, and I will see you back here very soon with another video. Bye bye. Safari so zoom .us. And now I'm going to end the meeting. <laughs> more button app annotate but pause multiple new share more zoom and meeting menu item. Alrighty. Set stereo mono. Let's uh, start our recording, recording here. Menu item. Cool. Thank you so much.